Hola, niños y niñas. Ya. Ni hao. Bonjour. Calimera. Aloha. Anybody know what these words mean? Yes, they're all ways of saying hello all over the globe. Uh, in China, in France, in Japan, in Spain, uh, Hawaii. But why do we all speak so many different languages? Where did these languages come from? Well, the Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 11 that everyone spoke the same language when they got off the ark. Remember, Noah and his sons uh, began to farm and uh, till the land there outside of the mountains of Ararat. And they began to grow and multiply. And as they did, God told them, He said, Noah, I want you and your descendants to spread out and fill the earth. And so many of his descendants began to move westward towards the Tigris and Euphrates River, uh, which are located in present day Iraq. And for a hundred years, they were working on building this tower. So they started to kind of obey God and they moved away from the mountains of Ararat. But when they got here, they stopped and decided they were going to build this tower and make a name for themselves. They had gone far enough and they were going to worship God uh, their own way. You know? And so for a hundred years, they were working on this tower. And when God came down and saw um, this project they were working on and that they were disobeying his command and trying to build this tower to reach up into heaven and worship God in their own way, he confused their languages. And so when they came to work the next day, the, Joe was telling Henry, uh, Joe, go, uh, uh, Henry, go up on the uh, third floor and get some uh, wood to uh, build the, uh, the stairway uh, outside the uh, tower here. But, but Henry couldn't understand him. And so they began to argue. And all over the building project, the same thing was happening. People could no longer understand one another. And so they stopped their project. They congregated into groups uh, that could understand one another and spoke the same language, the same family group. And so they began to move away uh, from uh, Babel and start their own families and begin to spread out all over the earth. And so God came down and confused their languages because they had disobeyed his command to spread out and fill the earth. They started to obey, it seems like, but then they decided they had gone far enough and they were gonna do things their own way. You know, boys and girls, uh, if you're like me, when I was growing up, I would often start to obey my parents. But then after a while, I got interested in doing what I wanted to do, I would stop. And I said, well, I've done enough of what they want me to. And so I, I would only partially obey. But the Bible tells us, and what we see here at Babel is that partial obedience is disobedience. And so here at Babel, they had been speaking all the same languages, tells us in Genesis chapter 11, but because of their disobedience, they uh, were given different languages and spread out all over the earth. And they began all over the world, they began to build these similar mounds and towers and buildings. And you can see them in North America, South America, and China on different islands. And so whenever you see these uh, um, in picture books or and you hear people when you're out speaking a different language, I trust that it'll remind you of Genesis chapter 11 in the Tower of Babel. And the important lesson is, is be, uh, when you obey, be fully obedient. Don't just do part of what your mom and dad tells you, be obedient completely because partial obedience is disobedience. And I trust that as you read the word of God and study it, that you will obey God completely.
completely. Uh, have a blessed day, boys and girls.